Larry Jill, man, he might he might be one of the smoothest rappers out. What's up, YouTube? My name is Jason, and this is my take. I'm back. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And we're going to kick this week off with the new Larry June album, Spaceships on the Blade. Now, Larry June is a rapper out of San Francisco. And I've heard songs here and there from him. The main ones that really caught my attention were Water My Plants and Intercepted. What I got from this guy is that he's just like super, super, super smooth and suave with his delivery and his lyricism. I also catch at times it's like he's dropping like self-care bars. Like he's very much a guy that um, has a lot of confidence and a lot of his bars kind of talk to like, just like, you know, what are you doing? Like, you know, we'll talk about a line on here to kick this album off, but um, it's just something about him. Like, like I can see why I, I've heard a lot of people talk about him. I can see why a lot of people are drawn to him. I'm mad that I caught on so late to this guy because this album, as you can see from the title, this this this, this is one of my favorite rap albums this year, hands down. This is a 20 track album, but it doesn't even run an hour. Like it's a very smooth listen. Got really everything I thought that I would get from Larry June, just in terms of you know that suave delivery. The production on here is something to like behold, like very much a lot of the West Coast, you know, type of hip hop that we would expect from an artist like him, but also just like a lot of soulful, smooth uh, production on here, man. Like we even get alchemists on here that we'll discuss later. Like um, this, this thing really kept me and 20 song albums are very, I'm very hesitant about going into any of them. Um, but th this guy right here, it was a little air, little air. Um, a lot of artists, y'all don't need to be putting out 20 song albums, but maybe maybe this can be a lesson to a, to a lot of like artists about how to get it done and to make sure that every track matters and has an impact. So man, like it's a lot of highlights on here. So let's dive right into it. The song Private Valet opens this thing up. And like I mentioned, like the, <laughs> this thing already kicked off with like, understanding the type of artist Larry June is and what he talks about. And before this man even raps, he, he speaks before the track and his first words are, don't call yourself a man if you can't keep your composure. Like that, those are the type of lines like the hill drop. Like you, you're not gonna leave this project wondering who Larry June is. And man, another, another theme on this album too is Larry's singing because to start this album off with Private Valet, his singing, was amazing. You know, it's, it's good to hear that, you know, Larry June represent for the deep voice folks. We can sing too, you know, not not me specifically, but Things You Do is is arguably one of the smoothest tracks on the album. And this is a track where we actually see Larry doing more singing than rapping. And honestly, I, it, it didn't bother me. And the shakers that are leading the drums along with this heavenly melody is literally perfect. And everything that Larry June needs to create that smooth vibe I love the song Another Day Part 2 so much. When you hear this song, you'll know exactly why. Larry is rapping over this like 80s, like soulful synth track and it is perfect. And honestly, like I really can't hear anybody executing that well over this type of beat. Another highlight being the song Corte Cadera, California. And I can't put my finger on it, but I've, I've heard this sample before. Um, it, it, it's, it's stuck in your head because it's just such a great song, but I, I couldn't put my finger on it, but I feel like Mac Miller used this on a song. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all recognize the sample. And to me, like, I hope this makes sense, but like, you see the album cover here. To me, this song felt like what I'm seeing on the cover. Like, it just feels like that. In the songs I'll Make Time and For Tonight, we really see Larry June in more of an R&B bag. And to me on I'll Make Time, um, it's just June himself and he really holds his own on here. And then he sounds great alongside Sid from the internet on For Tonight. And honestly, I mean, Sid really hasn't missed lately. Really, I can't think of the last time feature-wise that she's disappointed. So it was good to hear on here. I really wasn't expecting it. Now, without question, my favorite song on here is 5.0 Chronicles that features Currency. As soon as the instrumental played, 
I knew. I already knew. And I love the variety. I love I love what's going on with the production. Like it has very much a southern bounce to it, but like that smooth Cali feel that that we know June for. And there there wouldn't have been a better feature for a track sounding like this than currency. Like this is literally a track for currency. I play this song so much, like at, at this point. Like, it, it makes no sense. I love this track. Another amazing track being the song Breakfast in Monaco. And we get production from legendary producer, The Alchemist. And honestly, with this one track with the two of them, I'm convinced that uh, Larry June and Alchemist collab would be rap album of the year. Like, I, I don't know why I wouldn't think that, especially with this one. And it's like the tempo of this song is so slow, but it has such a good groove to it. You're just doing this, like, the whole time, like, you, you can't help but like your body is just gonna move with it. Larry's Diner really showed that I really enjoy Larry June over drumless samples, mainly soulful samples that just have so much within them that you don't even need to add anything else to it. I don't know about y'all, but I could really, really hear Rock Marciano on this. And I think that they would, that would be a match made in heaven on a track like this. This is really right up his alley. And honestly, the momentum continues from here to, to close the album out, especially with the track Organic Adjustments. And specifically on here, it was just the layering, the vocal layering. Like Larry June was all over this track rapping. You could just hear him faintly in the background harmonizing. And it, it was just everything. The melody is so beautiful on the track Spaceships and Orange Juice. I didn't know what type of drums we would get with this, this melody. Like it could have went either way because there was a lot of West Coast production. There was some more boom bappy type stuff, but this one had more of a trap feel to it and the drums were perfect, especially the, the hi-hats and how they really set the groove and how they would stop at certain moments and then come right back in and just still just had you moving. And man, did, did Larry June end the album with high energy on the track, appreciate it all. And I loved how he was just speaking on, you know, just the appreciation for, for those who helped him get to where he was, like his parents, but also just praising himself and praising the grind that the work that he put in. And once again, we have another track where Larry just like really shows off vocally what he can do. And, and honestly, looking back on it, it makes so much sense why there aren't that many features on here. And for the ones that are, they mostly are rappers rather than singers. Now look, like they, like I said, a little error on here. And there were there were a few tracks that um, I didn't really enjoy. Two big ones being I'm Him and In My Pockets because they, they kind of gave me the same feeling. And it sucks because these are both like more West Coast, like really bouncy production, very hard hitting. But to me, Larry Jones' performance was a little underwhelming on these. The flows could throw people off with the sound of it. I thought that was fine, but I don't know. Larry June, while very laid back and chill, like this felt like a little lazy for me in terms of how he delivered. Larry June, I'm a big fan, man. And I'm gonna try to get through all 80 of the albums that you have that I see in Apple Music. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try, but like, I really, I really enjoy what Larry June did on this album. I think I walked away from this, like really understanding the type of artist that he is. Despite having a pretty consistent flow and energy about himself, he really can do it over so many different sounds that I, I really don't see myself getting tired of the music that he puts out and the projects that he has. I feel very confident going into them. I really think that the buzz that he's getting is valid. I really enjoy this thing. Um, one of the best rap albums, like I said, I've heard this year. I've been having this on repeat quite a bit and you know, it came out about a couple weeks ago. So I'm glad that I had more time to sit with it and really enjoy it. And if you guys haven't checked it out, you definitely should as well. So I'm gonna give this album an eight and a half out of 10. So what'd you guys think of this new Larry June album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What were your favorite tracks? Let's discuss down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Got another video dropping tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason. This has been my take. I'll see you next time.